The original machine had a base plate of prefamulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fam. The latter consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o delta type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeters. This is one of the many descriptions of the famous turbo encabulator, a machine devised by Chrysler, General Electric, and Rockwell Automation, among others, in the 1940s through the 1960s. Many saw it as a technical marvel that could change babies' diapers and revolutionize motor design. First publicized by the British Institution of Electrical Engineering Students Quarterly Journal in 1944, this machine struck a chord with many readers. If you're still scratching your head trying to figure it out, the turbo encabulator was an inside joke between engineers in the 1940s that used technobabble to confuse those not in on the foolery. And it was a completely made-up machine. The gag slowly gained traction in the mid-1940s, and in 1946, U.S. publishers started picking up on the fanfare of the amazing machine. Time magazine published an article in May of 1946 titled, An Adjunct to the Turbo Encabulator, Employed Wherever a Barescent Score Motion is Required, which only widened the scope of this massive technical joke. Readers of Time Magazine sent in letters to the editor asking many questions about the potential uses and expressing excitement about the machine. Some readers said it sounds like a new motor, and it sounds like a wonderful machine for changing babies' diapers. Time also received many complaints about using too much technical jargon in the article for the layman to understand. But really, everyone knows what an ambifacent lunar wane shaft is, so those comments fell on deaf ears. In 1962, General Electric got in on the joke and created a data sheet for the turbo encabulator in their technical handbook. Even at this time, many in the general public weren't in on the joke and assumed the turbo encabulator to be some new and astounding technology. Bud Haggart, a famous actor who commonly made technical films for companies, created a video explaining the turbo encabulator as a new improvement on GMC trucks in 1977. The turbo encabulator was one of the most prolific feats of engineering in the last century, and its technical prowess continues to live on, even in modern times. In 1997, for example, Rockwell Automation released a version of the device. In 2016, Path, a company focusing on using innovation to better the world, released their new micro encabulator. These iterations on the famous design continue to push forward the bounds of just what is possible using panendermic semi-bovoid stators. It's incredible just how far technology has come.